Now Sir Grace is the knight and Bob the wee squire retrieving its weapon for its master. Ha! I oh yeah, like wearing this. My fragile feminine bones are being crushed. She's not wearing female armor, that's the problem here. <laughs> female armor is a myth. <laughs> so <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob. And I'm Grace, the Fist, and World Destroyer. And today, we're going to find out if the very encumbrance rules of D&D 5e are realistic or just annoying. Cut. So according to the 5e Player's Handbook, the rules for lifting and carrying are intentionally simple. Here's a variant if you're looking for more detailed rules for determining how a character is hindered by the weight of their equipment. Well. We've calculated our actual strength scores. Bob World Builder, jump in. Pew. Yeah, that was definitely yeah. cleared. Yeah. And we've calculated our movement speed. Go. One. Two. That was way, that was way too fast. <laughs> so we're totally the most qualified people to see if very encumbrance makes sense. Slightly uncomfortable. Yeah, actually. Yeah. That's good. Want it? Thank you. Squire. Okay. And one special piece of equipment we have for this today is our total legit representation of half plate armor. And our sponsor describe is going to help us bring this one to life. This suit of bronze armor guards the chest, shoulders, upper arms, and shins with plate molded to fit an athletic form. The breastplate even has indented lines to suggest an impressive abdomen. Smooth leather is attached to the backs of the larger pieces and leather straps with bronze buckles serve to affix them to the body. That's one of hundreds of professionally written scenes from Describe and you can get access to literally thousands by signing up with the coupon code BOB to save 10% when you do. <laughs> Whatever. And in our strength video where we measured those jumps, we actually had a lot of good comments saying that measuring from the toe and measuring from how high our feet went wasn't exactly measuring our real clearance on those jumps. So I went back, analyzed the footage, and recalculated our strength scores, which came out slightly lower for what we'll be using in this video. Here's a human commoner, Bob, once again. He's got a walking speed of 30 feet and a strength score of 10. But right now he's carrying 50 pounds, which is five times his strength score. So theoretically, his speed should be reduced by 10 feet to 20 feet, but we're here to see how accurate that really is. Okay, ready? Ready. Set. And set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just shy of 30 feet, I guess. We'll say 27 and a half. <laughs> so now we'll see what it looks like if I actually just go 20. Oh, that should be his maximum walking speed right now. Okay. Ready? Oh man, this is so heavy. That. <laughs> it's gonna slow me down. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. You made it. That's what it looks like when your heroes are carrying 50 pounds, or when a commoner is carrying 50 pounds of stuff. Cool. Something like that. Oh, the back. Oh, no. Now, Sir Grace is the knight, and Bob, the wee squire. I don't oh, yeah, like wearing this. It's your armor. It'll protect you against getting shot and stabbed. From destroying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have Grace World Destroyer over here. She has speed 25 feet and a strength of 9. So yeah, speed 25, maybe she's a gnome, maybe a goblin, we don't really know. But she should be able to then walk only 15 feet while bearing in excess of 5 times her strength score, 45 pounds. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Also made it to like 30 feet, questioning her true speed. Nothing can stop me. <laughs> okay. And 
Look at that little goblin one. <laughs> For sure. All right, Steven's turn. Oh, God. there's a dragon Ugh. in the distance. <laughs> So here we have Steven the animal with a mighty strength of 12 and his normal speed of 30 feet bearing five times his score of in excess 60 pounds. Are you ready? Ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Made it. Now human commoner Bob is heavily encumbered, which means his weight that he's carrying is 10 times what he should be able to carry. And now he's gonna try to walk his speed, which has been reduced again by 10 feet. We're also gonna throw stuff at him because when you're heavily encumbered, you have disadvantage on ability checks, attack rolls, and saving throws using your strength, dexterity, or constitution. Here we go! Ready, set, go! One, two, three, four, five, six. Dude, that's really heavy. Okay, clearly Bob failed those dex things. Hey, I, I bopped the one. Oh, I didn't see it. I was too focused on the clock. I didn't actually see. So now Steven the animal is carrying 10 times his strength score. Whoa, a bug just landed on me. Goodbye. Heavily encumbered. Let me slice it <laughs> off for you. He's going to try to make an attack roll with this cool sword while Bob throws stuff at him. And by extension, me. Go! One, two, three, four, like five, Skyrim. six. Next video, Bob gets arrested while carrying a weapon in public park. <laughs> so, it seems like the variant encumbrance rules don't really slow you down that much. I definitely agree with not being able to like dodge and make attacks very well, especially if you're holding stuff in your hands, which you might be when you're carrying 10 times your strength score. But our next test with some kind of equipment, probably that armor, this sword, will be walking a few miles with this gear to see how it compares to my 24 mile walk with absolutely no gear. So thank you to Describe and all the Bob World Builder patrons who really make this possible and keep building. Stop building. <laughs> That's good. Oh, oh.